On 7 News at 5.30, a bill that would make sextortion a crime in South Carolina is picking up steam. Federal authorities say thousands of minors across the country have fallen victim. Our Jason Raven tells us why this issue is personal for one state lawmaker. Earlier this week, a panel of House lawmakers advanced H3583. The legislation currently has more than 50 co-sponsors in the House. I wasn't even aware that um, this was an issue. The bill's main sponsor, Representative Brandon Guffey of York County, says his son Gavin died by suicide last July. A few days after his death, they found out someone online was extorting him after he sent intimate photos to them. The symbol that I wear, if you can see it, the less than three symbol, is what my son sent out before he took his life to his friends on a black screen. Representative Guffey says this led him to look into this issue and file this bill. It would make sexual extortion a crime in South Carolina. Now, this is defined as an interaction on social media or dating app where intimate photos are shared. Then the victims are threatened with release of these pictures unless they are paid. And this is not typically a single individual that is targeting your child. These are networks. This is organized crime. This crime would be punishable up to 30 years in prison in the Palmetto State. Now, the FBI says in 2022, they received thousands of reports related to the financial extortion of minors, primarily boys. Federal authorities say a large percentage of these schemes originated outside of the U.S. Guffey says his goal is to raise awareness about the issue. The only good that I can get out of losing my son is to know that I can protect other parents from ever having to face this pain um, and protecting teens from ever having to go through this. Now, the House Judiciary Committee is expected to take up this bill soon and if it passes there it will be then sent to the House floor. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. If you or someone you know have suicidal thoughts, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 988.